It is a story about family, persistence, faith, and the belief that with love, everything is possible. I am Isabela Amaral, originally from Brazil, and I've been uh, residing in the United States for about uh, four years with my son Fred, and I am a member of the YMCA John Geigel. Usually people ask me why I came to the United States, and um, the main reason was looking for health treatments for Fred. Fred was born extremely premature. He was less than two pounds, very small, not able to breathe, and spent three months in intensive care. Then when I found the treatment for him to start to walk here in the United States, it was here in Florida, in Lago, we decided to spend some more time here and give Fred a chance to walk. We have been embraced by this country, by everyone that we, we have met so far. Well, I used to say to Fred that he needs to exercise every day for the rest of his life. And then I complete this sentence saying, me too. And then one day I saw a sign saying, zero cost for registration at YMCA. My name is Kimberly Kassenike. I've been with the John Geigel YMCA for about 12 years and I'm the membership coordinator. I met Isabella and Freddie and Mark. They were really looking for something for Freddie that he just needed to be engaged. They call a lot of his sports therapy. So they were looking for options for different types of therapy for Freddie. I felt that maybe Taekwondo could help his balance as well as interact with more friends. So I felt that there was, Taekwondo would be a good interaction for both. For, for me, the, the YMC is fun because uh, I met many friends. I did uh, many different things. Hi, I'm Master Tiffany. I've been an instructor here with the Y for like 15 years. And I've been an instructor of Fred now since last May. And he's been doing great. When I first met him, he wasn't as mobile, but now I got him doing sit-ups. He does kick standing up now. He's working on patterns. He's made so much progress. I feel like his confidence is up and he's got a lot of good friends in the class. And I can't wait to see his progress over the next few years up to black belt level. Seeing him, uh, more autonomous, uh, more self-confident. That was the, the best. That was the, the best outcome we could have. It. Hi, I'm Taylor. I'm the aquatics director at the John Geigel YMCA, and I've been working with Fred for about eight months in the pool now. Besides Taekwondo, Fred's been working with me in the pool to work on his mobility and his strength and get his core muscles ready to go so he can be able to swim laps with his mom while they're both in the pool and do it safely. Being able to work with Fred and teach him how to swim so he can be safe and survive in the pool has been a great feeling for both myself and for him. I know he's proud of the work that he's done as well. First, I thought that it would be embarrassing to learn to swim at, at my age. But when I got in a pool with Taylor, she showed me that a lot of kids and adults would be learning to. It, it, it is a very fun to learn how to swim because I hardly knew how, how to swim. Fred is a fuel for this family. And if we see Fred getting more autonomous, independent, that will be like a medal for us. That's our goal. Thanks to the YMCA and support from our friends Kimberly, Tiffany and Taylor, Fred and our family have a better life where we are all embraced, accepted and encouraged to develop a healthy spirit, mind and body.